this is what I've got so far. I've finished the length of my poncho. I only want a short poncho. This pretty much goes up down to my elbows. And I'm going to wash this and I'm hoping that it just relaxes a little bit. See how it sort of sticks out a fair bit when I wear it. So I think when it's washed it will relax the yarn a bit more. I'm just going to wash it in lukewarm water with a little bit of fabric softener. And then I'll just rinse it with cold water and then let it dry. So the next, I'm going to wash it now and then the next part of it I'll show you how to do the neck. So I want to, or I might do the neck and then wash it, not really sure, but um, I'm not sure how much time I've, I've got them in between tutorials at the moment. So yeah, so I am going to wash it because I do want it to lay nice, like to hang nicely. I think at the moment the yarn's a little bit stiff because it's brand new, but yeah. So lukewarm water, some softener, um, just do it really gently, hand wash it um, and then rinse it off. Dry it uh, flat in the shade would be a great idea. Uh, you don't want it all pulling out of shape if you hang it on the washing line. So in the next part of the video we will be doing the neckline. Okay so before we start the next section we want to fix up this part here. Now this is where we had the extra chains and this is the start of the row so we're going to connect that together. So we can use a, and as you can see my end is really short, I was a naughty girl and didn't leave it long enough. Um, I'm going to try and use a crochet hook. So we're going to join it into the, the chain. See how the chain's coming along there? I'm just going to turn the work around. That might be easier to see. Hang on a second. So this is our chain that we worked into here and here. And we need to close up that gap. And we need to join it so it looks like there's no gap because we're cheating remember this is the wrong size crochet hook it's too big but you can use a, need a sewing needle as well and I've actually got a thread there so I'm actually going to tie a knot because mine is way too short to sew in it will come undone I don't normally tie knots into my projects. But I'm going to be crocheting over that so you're not going to see it anyway. But I'm going to grab my crochet, uh, sorry, my sewing needle. And I'm just going to go through the chain. And I'm just going to say this end. So this was my end where I should have been using, but it's too short, so I'm not going to sew that end in. I'm using this other one that I've got here. And what it was is actually the end of where I um, changed colours. It's from up here when I changed colours. I've just sewn it down. Alrighty, so once you've sewn yours together, you can go through the stitch and then leaving a loop I've already got a really tiny one as you can see leaving the loop we are going to put our end through the loop and then pull tight and what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet over that as I come around when I do my neck. So I won't need to sew in the ends there, which is fantastic. Now you can use any colour that you like. I am just, this is really bulky now, so let's see if we can actually get it in the camera. I'm just going to grab the same colour on the neck. I'm actually going to join. I'm not going to join it where our threads are because I want to crochet over those. I'm going to go back a bit so that's where our join is. 
I'm just going to go back a bit here. And I've got the good side of the the um, poncho facing me, so it's it's right way out. It's um, if you're going to put it on, it's the right way out. I'm just going to join in our yarn in any of these loops here. You could even join it into here; it's no problem. What we're going to do? I am just going to work a single crochet border. That's all I'm going to work, and I'm going to use the loops that are here as my holes for my poncho for the drawstring of my poncho. So into the bigger gaps I'm going to work three single crochets. So into the gap, pulling up, yarning over and pulling through, that's one, two and three. And I'm also using the same size crochet hook that I use for the whole project. I'm going to work one single crochet into the stitch there. Into the biggest gap I'm going to work three single crochets. Into my ch the space, the little space there, which you may not have a big, such a bigger gap as mine. Into the big gap three and into the little gap just one. You could work two or you could work four into this gap just depending on how much room you've got. You don't want to put too many otherwise your border will go wavy and if you don't put enough it's going to pull it in really tight. So I'm just going to work this all the way around. one into the gap, three into the big one. Okay, so I'm coming up to my threads that I need to work over. So I've got a gap there, go one into there. Sorry guys, this is really bulky and I'm trying to maneuver it. Not much space at all. So what's coming up next? We've just done our Yep, we've just done our little hole, so we've got to the big one there. So working three single crochets, I've laid the threads on top and I'm just working around them because they've laid on top there. When you work your single crochet it just traps it, which is really good. We don't really have to do anything with it as long as it's laying on top of the stitches there. So working three into there. And you're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning of that row. I'm back to the beginning of the row and I just did a single crochet into the smaller gap and I'm going to join into the top of this chi. You can work as many rows as you like a single crochet. If you want to work another row you're going to chain one and single crochet into that same stitch and then single crochet in every stitch around and then slip stitch to the top of that stitch there but I'm only going to work one row so you can work as many as you like so I need to cut my yarn pull that loop through there and grab my yarn and my needle. And to sew the ends in, flip it over, just work your yarn down here, and just work it into the back of the single crochets. So, thank you for watching my video, I really do appreciate it. If you would like to see more of my videos, as you're looking at the video underneath there will be my username, bobwilson123. If you click on that username, that will take you straight to my channel. And you'll find all my videos there. And the easiest way to go through my videos is click on, uh, I think it says uploads, or it could say videos, and then once you're in the uploads section it will show you all of what I've put up. Put up. There's plenty to look at. 
sure you'll find something else that you could make. So join our Facebook page as well. There's plenty of people over there that can help you if you ever get stuck on a pattern. I can't always get back to you straight away. So if you ever get stuck, the Facebook page under the same name, Bob Wilson 123, is a great place to ask help on any of my patterns. There's a lot of people over there that have done quite a few of them, so which is awesome. So that's my neckline. And I will put this on and show you what it looks like on me. Oh, before we forget, we need to make a drawstring. Now, my drawstring, I am literally just going to make a chain to the length that I want it and then thread it in and out of these holes here. Now, I might actually grab um, two of the colours. I think they'll look pretty together. So I'm just randomly grabbing two of the colours. You thought you were rid of me, didn't you? But no, we forgot to do the drawstring. Now you could use an eye cord for this. I do have a video on an eye cord. I'm just going to cut that off so those yucky bits aren't there. You could use an eye cord, you could make a chain and single crochet back across. I'm just going to use two strands of yarn. That makes it a little bit thicker than just the one, obviously. So just make your slip knot however you do yours. I've been told many times I do it the long way, but I'm not really that worried because it works for me. And we're just literally going to make a chain stitch. And you'll keep going until it's long enough. Now what I will be doing is making a chain that I think is long enough, not cutting off my yarn, threading it through my poncho with the yarn still attached to my chain to make sure it's the right size then I will cut my yarn. You don't want to cut it too short or even too long as well. So I'm sure you know how to do a chain stitch and I will see you when we are ready to thread it through. With my yarn still attached to my chain, I'm going to get the other end, I'm going to get the neck, and I'm going to choose to thread it through the big holes, so I'm going to go in and out of the big holes, so just as easy as that. You could skip a few holes if you like. You could go in and out of, if you can, go in and out of those little holes, you could do it that way. You could use ribbon. Ribbon would look really pretty. But I tried to make my, my projects all with yarn so that you don't have to go and buy anything else. But of course you can pretty it up as much as you like. So I'm just going to quickly do this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to try it on. Or if, you, if it's for someone else, just lay it out. So I've got a hole left there. That's okay, I'm not worried. It's going to be tied up there, so that will be okay. So I'm just going to stretch it out so it's not all ruffled out. Some things I can't quite fit on the camera, so I'm just doing that off screen. See, it's not all crunched up anymore. Then what I'm going to do is, see I need to draw my neck in a little bit, so when I'm wearing that, so I pull it in a little bit, making sure your ends are even, I'm going to 
going to tie it in a knot. And I'm just checking to make sure I've got enough of the chain. So I think I need just a little bit. If I wanted to have it in a bow, I need a little bit more. So I'm just going to add a few chains and then in the next video clip, I'm going to have it on. So I'll see you in just a minute. Alrighty, so here is my poncho. And I haven't washed it yet. I, I couldn't decide in the previous video, previous clips if I was going to wash it, but I haven't washed it yet. So I've done my neck, I've got my tie. And I think this looks awesome. I love the colours. They come out really well. So I need to wash it because it, see how it's a little bit stiff? And I'm thinking when I wash it, it's going to hang down. So actually at the beginning of this video, it will be washed because I actually filmed the first part of the introduction of the video last. Little secret that you may not have known. Yes, yeah, so when you see it in the beginning of the video, it's going to be actually washed. So hopefully it will lay a little bit flatter. And I did use a 5mm or a, I think that's an eye size hook. So I could have used a little bit of a bigger hook to make it more drapey, but I still love it. And my neighbours are going to think I've lost the plot because it's really hot here today. <laughs> and I'm wearing a poncho. Or they're going to see me and go, yep, Claire's making another video tutorial again. But yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share your creations with me. You can share them on our Facebook page, on our Ravelry page, or um, you can share them on the email. My email address is, is in the more info box below. Yeah, I'd love to see what colours that you use for yours. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy crochet!